underwear the other night. My friends, I'm getting a lot of frantic calls from people trying to get out of Manhattan. While I understand the impulse, that is not the answer. I've been in touch with the National Disease Center, and they've assured me they're working on an anti-serum. But for their efforts to bear, we need to keep our composure. Here's why we have to stay where we are. Firstly, we need to keep the disease contained. The more it spreads and the more people who are sick, the fewer resources there are to go around. And I have received personal assurances from officials in Albany that relief convoys are coming, containing food and medicine and, uh, excuse me, I've just been handed an update. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. Uh, it seems the relief convoys I just mentioned are being attacked by escaped inmates from Rikers Island Prison. Spider-Man? This is on you! You were there in the most charitable reading of the situation! You failed to stop the breakout! Savvy listeners don't need me to tell you that the demon's cult, gang, terrorist organization, all the above apply, is out of control. We have a survivor of one of their brazen attacks on the line. Go ahead. I was home in my building. We got word there were demons on the roof planting bombs. We had to evacuate, but we also heard there were snipers waiting to pick us off if we tried to leave. Worst case, you were responsible for it. You always claimed to be on our side. Well, Webhead, if that's true, you are rapidly running out of chances to prove it. More and more listeners are warning that the mayor's sable agents, ostensibly here to protect us, are behaving more like an occupying army. But let's hear it from the caller. Go ahead. They won't let me in my building. Said it's quarantine. I said, fine, let me in and I'll stay there. They pointed their guns at me, ran me off like a criminal. I got no place to go. Caller, this is deeply disturbing to me. I promise you, I'll bring it to the attention of the proper authorities. Emergencies do not permit the suspension of human rights. Your elected officials may not be willing to fight for you, but J. Jonah Jameson is. Folks, I know you're scared. But when I hear reports of looting, of fights over food or medicine, I say to myself, we are better than this. You are better than this. I've known you my whole life. I am proud to be a member of this community. Don't give in to fear. Help each other. Stand up for those who need it. I've always hated hearing Spider-Man called a hero. Because real heroes are the people who get up every day with no special powers and do the right thing simply because it is the right thing. So I'm asking you now, be the heroes I know you all are. J. Jonah Jameson believes in you. <laughs> Whew. Anyone else need a breather? <laughs> <laughs>